Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Lima No Stitches channel. My hair looks kind of weird today. Not gonna lie. I'm wearing my cute Beretta shirt. Ever since I watched Unfriended the Dark Web, I've gotten like so scared over like what I say on stream because I'm like I don't want somebody to like fucking take this clip and then like swap me using it but this is just a shirt I don't know <laughs> shit's making me anxious that movie fucked me up straight up have y'all ever seen it unfriended the dark web fucking crazy gave a whole generation of people actual trypophobia um, what did I do today? Um, let me, let me cook. Let me cook here for a little bit. Just do like a just chatting moment until we reach like, I don't know, a couple more minutes in. I woke up early today. I've had, I just recently drank some caffeine um, because I was like so sleepy. I planned on like going to HEB and then coming home and taking a nap. Um, but then I was on Paw Patrol, which is what we call <clears throat> whenever I have to look after our dog because my mom uh, goes to work out. And so I'm just on. I'm on dog duty. I gotta supervise the dog. Uh, and my dad is currently home, but he was also taking a nap, but I didn't get to take a nap because I had to make sure that Ruby wasn't chewing up everything. Oh, okay. Okay, Miss Ma'am. She said, I wanna I don't wanna see myself in the mirror. Let's put that down. And then I just had some water burger. I feel like I like really like overeat today, which I'm not very happy about, but you know, that's just that's just how eating disorders are. That's just how they make you feel. But anyways, let's get into it. New mother freaking game. Put the cat in the way. This rope is filthy. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Nothing, just moving it. Unrelated. You so maybe this was the already did this part one and part two. Side note, I don't even know if I fucking put part two on. My channel yet, which is kind of embarrassing for me. I think I have it downloaded. I just don't know if I've put it up. Um, honestly, let's hang out at home. There was something that I wanted to do. You, you want to watch Mythbusters? This is like a really bad day. At least you're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you going to do when you're 25 and working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at Steakback Outhouse. That doesn't change the fact we're stuck here without gas money and your mom only pays for the basic cable package. So you don't want to watch Mythbusters? We literally just left school to avoid men who go, This is true. Where the fuck would I watch a show about them? I heard every other episode, they accidentally show you a new way to make crystal meth. <laughs> Did they ever do one on cigarettes causing cancer? If cigarettes were in Star Wars, then maybe. Can I smoke in here? You can. I don't know if you should. My mom might get mad. Okay, well, you hate your mom and your brother and anyone else you mentioned to me. So just let me smoke. I want to see if you choosing the option to smoke, smoke is different like than choosing the option to abuse pills. Old prescriptions in her medicine cabinet. You want to crush them up and see what they do to us? Wow, snorting your mom's pills. You'd be like the guy in Scarface if you ran a nursing home. This might be a stupid question, but what even is Scarface? It's like a drug dealer movie. I don't know. The ESL kids won't stop wearing shirts of it. I think they did a Mythbusters on Scarface. That sounds so awesome for a guy who wears cargo shorts. What are we doing, Nicole? And don't say sobriety. Is smoking cigarettes not being sober? I know a lot of people who quit drugs smoke cigarettes. They just pick that up. like air fresheners. They make you look cool, too. It's like a doctor in an 80s movie. Yeah, take a fat-ass drag before you tell a mother of three she has cancer. I'm sorry, bitch. I'm just living over here. Emphysema? Never heard of her. I'm so glad we could do this. It's so hard to smoke and fight. Hey, what's the slang this time? 
Well, my perfect time to go out and do it was like 9, 9.30, and in the last few weeks, the fucking counselor is always out there trying to talk to me. And you're in trouble? No, that's why it's weird. It's like little small talk, commenting on my outfit, you're too pretty to smoke, it just ruins my whole morning now. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And no matter where you are, he always finds you. Does he use the dress code to hit on you? Literally every time. That looks a little low cut for school, looks right down the titties. Yeah, when they catch you alone, they savor the Yikes. fuck out of that good Samaritan stare. Like, how are you this horny at your job? <coughs> Go look at porn on your work computer and get fired for it later. And he's fully aware of the leverage game, too. Exactly. I'm the cool counselor, you can smoke, but as soon as I tell the principal he's flirting with me- Thank you so much for the follow, right. emo boy. How are you doing? Smoke or smoke and get your titties stared at. Easily the second one. I literally can't function without this now. I still haven't found a drug where I function. It's like you've turned 12 and you can't have anything perfect anymore. What the hell are you guys doing in here? It's kind of real. Uh, doing what? I don't know what you're talking about. You see all the smoke in here? Mom said you can't smoke in the house. Mom also said move the fuck out. You're 27. But I guess that didn't Damn. register either. As if. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Sorry, I didn't know the basement wonder if that's gonna be video game me. office. You have to sleep still in seven home. nights a week. Office sleep seven nights a week. Working hard. I don't sleep there every I'm night. I'm good, okay? I other places to be and shit. Since when are you so defensive about living in the basement? I thought you liked it. I'm not defensive. And I don't even sleep there. Oh, I know why. What? You're trying to look cool because there's a girl here. No. It's the cigarettes. They make me look hot. Look, all I did was come up here starving for lunch, and now my appetite's ruined because of how bad it smells in here now. Yeah, I never want to eat after I smoke either. Me too. Cigarettes are actually kind of healthy. Newport's my new personal trainer. Do whatever the fuck you want because I'm snitching hard, bro. So not the way to win me over. Shh, come on. Can't you just go back in the basement and play with your toys? Video games are not toys. That's it. Cigarettes oh, did, off. like, curb okay, my wait, appetite, wait. but, like, be they didn't toy. do me anything for my weight. <sighs> I'm not gonna sacrifice Jekka. Don't call me a bad person, but I'm gonna use obesity against lunch? him. What about lunch? Don't call mom. We could just go get you a pizza and... Like, don't even worry about it. Yeah, you can't miss lunch. You're gonna be so hungry. Oh, say it like that again. That's hot. Newport's my god dude, reminds me of 10th grade. Way your minor fetish and get you a pizza, okay? Does he have um, a fetish? Does I fetish had so what's the fetish? I told like you, a boyfriend a in like what's freshman year of high school who smoked, like, but like he didn't have an avenue to get them for what's some reason. What's the fetish? He just like smoked. Um, Girls under he was like adopted oh, from good. Russia. Why are we getting him pizza? Are you guys Which actually like gonna get me food? Pretty yeah, weird. Sure, we'll pick it up somewhere. Let's go. Wait, I didn't even tell you what I wanted on the My pizza. dad's adopted. I have what the adopted pass. Okay, uh, pepperoni, ham, bacon, meatballs, sausage, and sliced sausage too. So like the crumbled American sausage with the more Italian sliced sausage, chicken, buffalo chicken, extra cheese. Okay, me like ordering a pizza. So you got all that? Uh, yeah. Could we borrow a 20? Oh, yeah, here you go. Mom left me extra pizza money today, anyway. At 27. Okay, we'll be right <gasps> back. Fucking dumb At bitches. 27. I had McDonald's in my room the whole time. Now I have two lunches. Uh, why didn't we call her? This is gonna take forever. Why did we even go to the barcade for a pizza? Why not? They have pizza. No, but what we a chat. Joe's Hell no. That's like... Yeah, Weakest point. member of society, bro. How are you 27 and still living at home? Everywhere. That makes sense. Oh, but hey, that's just me being hey, judgmental. Who the fuck are you? Could be a multitude uh, of I'm reasons. I, I don't know. I you in French last year. French too now? No, French the language class, remember? I let you copy off my test. Okay, hi. I need to trim yeah, my bangs so badly. Here. Are you guys skipping too? Maybe. Why are you skipping? Uh, just need to blow off some steam, play a couple games here and stuff. You skip to play video games? That's really cool and would never discourage girls from having sex with you. Well, why are you skipping? Get fucked up? Why else? Cool, yeah. So, you wanna hang out? Do I wanna hang out or do I wanna go out? Uh, both? I don't know. No, I don't even know you. We had class last year. You've gone out with guys you don't know before. How would you know that if you only have one I mean, there's no rent, but yeah, you can't do anything, so that. on, that's valid. That I know, I still live at home. They were older and, more attractive. and it's, it's like, all not the best, but it's like for mental health reasons. Me alcohol too. But I let you copy off my test, you got a B plus. What are we fucking And I'm not even 27, I'm just 20. If it was an A, would you have considered it more? What do you think the answer is? 
What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Literally, don't be you. Kill your mom. Even I'd go out with you then. What the fuck? <sighs> yeah, actually, then you'd be halfway cool. You guys can't mess around like that. I'm not My messing around. My stomach is going yeah, crazy. Yeah, we're not. It's either me or your mom. Pick one. Damn. Seriously? Come on, guys. Oh, I am serious. Kill your mom and I'm all yours. Uh... Oh, damn, I left my credit card in the car. Credit card? Uh, yeah, hold on, I'll be right back. Wait, Visa, Discover, what's the credit limit? Uh, oh, no, it's like the token credit card you swipe to play the games here. This is why you're a virgin. <sighs> it's like one step forward and 12 steps back. Oh, my God, I know. You were convincing there for a second. I was. Kill your mom and I'm all yours. That was actually hot. I'm all yours. Perfect timing. Is the box two colors or is that three? We got the pizza! Fuck, I forgot to buy cigarettes. Now you remember. But you're not old enough to buy any. No, the little gas stations don't even card you. There's one right off the Beltway, but we didn't go back that way. What are you talking about? That one cards you. They carded me. Was it the Indian guy? Yeah. He'll always card you. Go on the days when the Mexican guy's working there. How the fuck would I know what days he's working there? When you have a car, you'll know. Dude, where is he? The grease is gonna get solid. Hello? What if he's in the shower? Good one. Were there this many stuffs in the carpet before we left? Holy shit, what happened? Wait, his laptop's open out here. Is that usual? Uh, oh god, not with 20 porn tabs open. Literally 20. What the fuck is gonna happen? 16. Who needs that much porn at once? People with more game systems and exes. Every tab is a different fetish site, too. Like what? Uh, jigglyjihadist.com, below the border latinas.net. AsianGirlDynasty.org. I didn't think your brother would be into such racially charged porn. I didn't think my brother would be into women at all. Wait. Oh God, what? Yeah. After those, there's a bunch of MilfDaycare.com, KidnappedBabysitters.html, BarelyLegal.gov, and AlmostLegal.co.jp. I've heard of barely legal. What the hell is Holy fuck too young? I thought this was a family stream. Oh God, I'm God, crying. Is too young. The Russian roulette of internet history. Are we in the <laughs> system now? I'm not a lawyer. How the fuck should I know? You only not live for a second. Rated... Second rule, right? That's your what is it, the M? Floor, not, not with the rated end game. Oh what are you girls doing here? I live here. What are you doing here? We made an arrest at this residence 10 minutes ago, but forgot to secure the evidence. You I've watched Twitch streamers and then their what audience is like, I have you on like the family TV and I'm like, why would you watch them with your family? Were you looking at this old I was watching stream with my priest rabbi, imam, and they're absolutely livid. You girls have a lot of explaining. Sorry to disappoint. Sorry to disappoint. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. Um, we tried lying to a cop last time and it didn't work. Let's bribe a cop. Not to change the subject, but you look kind of hungry, dude. Oh my god. How can someone look hungry? Just all that hard police work, you know? Why don't you go ahead and pick up your evidence and take this pizza with you? What's on the pizza? Everything but vegetables. <laughs> you wouldn't be trying to bribe a police officer, would you? Are you asking to assert your morals or asking to see if we'll up the ante? Let's just say the law is written in pencil. What else would that you work? Jesus. Uh -oh. Fifty dollars. Cash. I'm not risking my pension over fifty dollars. No, no. Also, um what do I say? Uh, I have my dad's World War II DVDs. Now you're talking. Keep going. You drive a hard bargain. We also have the complete series of Sex in the City on VHS. I don't know if what we're like, I don't know what the current consensus sorry, sorry. is sorry, with like people who are obsessed with World War II. Improvement. Oh, now we're talking. Tim Allen, legend. He's also got this old camera. It still shoots and everything. It's rolling right now. Yeah, you could pawn that. Then the $50 turns into $57. I have a camcorder. However, you'll need to have way I was just using it. To risk my pension. Damn. What if it was fifty eight dollars? I found the lens cap. Again, lens cap or not, you still need to have way more than that. What if I put on the table something I don't have? What's that? A gag reflex. Oh hell yeah. Why did you say so? God damn it. What? I thought you felt bad for a minor offering head and just leave us alone. Minor? I thought you were eighteen. Thank God no one saw me agree to that. Don't say it on the first day because I know a lot about oh, World War You're One and you, World War II sorry. history and it's kind of a red flag. That's what I was thinking too. Still want to keep that pension? Okay, okay, let's not yeah, do anything. unless like you've now. like been I in the army or something You're like that. To go. It was a pleasure doing business. Or like you have a history oh, degree. Wait. The fuck do you want, Chomo cop? Can I still have the pizza? 
Yeah, here you go. Hey, Providence, leopard pizza. What are we gonna do when we're adults and can't pull that card anymore? I'm pretty sure a cop getting bribery had is illegal regardless of what age you are. So then it got to the part where he's like, what do you mean, you people? And I just turned the movie off and went to sleep. Oh, yeah, that... I tried to watch a horror movie before I took a nap today. Before I didn't take a nap because I had to watch my puppy. What? No, it's just like... And it was just so fucking creepy. Like, nothing bad had even happened yet. It was just the vibe was, like, way too fucking creepy. Why do our lives have to be so fucking eventful? That's a legit question, shit. Do you believe in God? You? No. Me neither. You don't think- We are not going to church. I know that number. I wonder who this is. Let me guess. Bones won't rape this murderer guy. Oh my god. Hello? Hello. This is the Woodburn Correctional Holding Facility. I knew it. You have a collect call from- Your brother bitch pick up. Damn. These charges. Press one. Yeah, whatever. Nicole, why isn't mom picking her phone up? I don't know. Call her up and ask her. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Look, I need you to do me a major solid. You still have that pizza? Maybe? Why? Okay, so I need you to take the pizza and bake it inside of a cake and then have the cake sent to me. You want me to smuggle you a pizza through a cake? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll just let you have a pizza. Well, no, there's an outside gifts limit, and if you bake it inside, I can have the cake and pizza. That's genius, right? Holy fuck, he's fat. Okay, bye. Wait, wait, Damn. is that your blonde friend? Yeah, why? I met someone in here who wants to talk to her. Hold on a second. What the fuck? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Really expensive phone call. Uh, hello? Who dis? It's me, Kyle. <gasps> Kyle who? We were at the barcade yesterday, remember? Oh my god. Uh, yeah? So, I thought it over. No fucking I way. Batman yeah, actually did it. Anything for pussy, bro. Get back out now. What do you think, Nicole? I'm thinking, how the fuck are you getting out in ten years? You want to hear how I killed her? Would that turn you guys on? Would it? What the fuck? Hang up. You said you'd be all mine. All mine. She basically asked you now. I mean. Dude, don't worry about it. The fact he followed through means his mom was probably a total bitch anyway. <laughs> I guess that's possible. And look on the bright side. He killed her for you. You're technically the hottest girl in school now. You're kind of right. There might be a Lifetime movie about this where Miley Cyrus plays you too. Ew, he called Saul and got 10 years. years. That's real. Uh, I'll think it over. Oh my god. With the time period, it probably matches up. Theater class fucking sucks. Not gonna lie. But we've already skipped, so let's try art class. For this week's assignment, let's really open the floor of creativity. In the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencil, we're gonna draw a few characters. That reminds me, did y'all see how, like, Charlie Brown, like, the little spiral on his head isn't just, like, one hair, it's, like, a whole tuft of hair? And then that also makes me think of, like, Quagmire. Like, is that actually his chin or is that, like, his beard? Art classes are here to remind you you're special. So, are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? <laughs> Your minds are special. Is he calling us special? Ed? As a theater yes, kid, yeah, it's cringe. Class. And with the medium of newsprint and charcoal, it was just like it was like so fucking boring. It was just like so much storyline, and I'm like, can we get to the fucking point? These like... characters could tell a story, show how you feel, portray a social cause. Anything you feel is worth the time to draw. My characters murder bitches. Be mindful that anything we do in this class must be school appropriate. Can my characters be the gym teacher trying to molest us? Nicole. What? It's in school. I think you're all smart enough to know. Like some of those kids take it envelope. too seriously. I'm glad I wasn't a theater kid. Like, I can monologue all day in my room as part of a maladaptive daydream, but I cannot get out, like, on stage in front of people. Last time I did that, my knees were shaking so bad. purpose brought them all together to hang out. bitches and shit. If there are no further questions, I'll hand you your papers and we can begin. Fuck drawing. Bitch, you do that shit. <laughs> Excuse me? Dude, we're seniors. I'm not drawing during one of my sleeping classes. I'm sorry, but you're in art, 
not a sleeping class. Is this an elective? Well, yes. I hated art class in school. I had to take it twice. For your lack of just because I sucked oh, yeah, that and hard. That doesn't stop me from graduating. That'll really show me. Yeah, actually, yeah I'm just drawing. not good at drawing. GPA? What fucking college would care if you drew some bullshit picture about your feelings? They'd rather see an A in an easy class than a B in a hard class. I don't want to be in fucking any class. You had to do 12 years of this shit. You're going to volunteer for more of it? Whatever. You have a real attitude problem. You know that, Nicole? You have a teaching a real class problem. Go work at Starbucks with your little apron. <laughs> Let's see how the principal deals with your abundance of comebacks. Nicole, we're not even a week in and you're getting sent to the principal. New record, don't be jealous. <sighs> you're on your final warning, Nicole. Final warning? This is the first time I was sent here. I've decided to roll over your warnings from last year. You made such a habit out of coming here, it's hard to forget over the summer. You don't do that with anyone else. Yes, but anyone else doesn't seem to deliberately disrupt the class as much as you do. What, am I supposed to accidentally call my teacher a bitch? You're supposed to follow the class and not insult faculty. No shit. Then why do you continue to not do that? Because that's boring. So your life here is a game to you? No, I was a troublemaker in school, but I never torture. insulted a teacher. If the current curriculum isn't working for you, they don't get paid you enough for that shit. Transferred into a different program here. I swear to God, if you put me in spec ed, I will bully all of those kids into killing themselves. Nicole, don't be ludicrous. They're special, Miss Lynn. One little push, and you'll have to make a really awkward phone call. I wasn't implying special ed, Nicole. We have alternative learning programs for students who feel they can't quite get along. The delivery of that line was funny. The line itself was not funny. Believe me when I tell you. Right, it's like these girls have no fear of death. Imagine talking to teachers like this ever. I mean, Nicole is a sociopath, so like, yeah. But even for a sociopath, it's like pushing the limits a bit too much. A lot of the time, there's no other way to watch the original Japanese version with English subtitles. Uh huh. Besides, I can't even stomach the American version. They just changed so much. It's not a faithful adaptation, so YouTube is the only way we can watch the true original version. Why do you think I know what any I used to use watchcartoononline.com well, to watch all my anime. In the online communities. The Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Have you heard of it? Will you shut the fuck up? Well, hey. Also, I've heard that it's better to watch with subtitles because whenever you hear it in like English, quicker is all. You sound like a cartoon character or an age of consent. Sound right. It just sounds so cringe. Cartoon. Cartoons are my favorite, second to anime. Weren't you talking about how much you want a girlfriend yesterday? Yes, and I still want one. And you plan on this hypothetical girlfriend touching your penis? Well, I don't want to rush things. But one day, yes. Okay, let me help you out. Approaching girls in your Velcro shoes with the current events- Hey, my friend has Velcro anime, shoes, and she's cool as fuck. fuck you. But who said I was trying to do that with you? Just to talk between friends, I don't think about you in that way. Really? Yeah, not at all. Not even a little? N no. Wow, that's a shame. Why? Because I wanted to give you a hand job after lunch, but if you don't think about me that way- Wait, I mean, well, I could reconsider my feelings if you felt that way. You are so fucking pathetic. I hope you kill yourself <gasps> when your mom watches. Jesus Christ! Over here. Is everything all right? Oh, I, I don't know. You're not gonna write me up, are you? I'm on my last warning. That depends. Jeffrey, what's going on here? N nothing. Nicole was actually helping me out with some life advice. Well, all right. Back to work on your lab. Don't worry, Nicole. Usually you just ignore me. But I understand you were trying to be extra mean today, so I better myself. No, I was extra mean to get written up so I don't have to take these shitty fucking classes anymore. Oh, well, if you're ever feeling like you need an escape, the manga club's doing a- Just stop there. I don't even think my schools had, like, an anime club. And I'm from Austin. Bitches out here love to watch anime. Yeah, the teacher wasn't there when I said it, so the response was lukewarm. You're really going for these remedial classes, huh? Is that what they're called? Yeah, but it's for major fuck-ups. I'm not sure you want to be there every day. What, stupid kids? No, kids who are going to go to jail straight after graduation. It's like the worst of the worst. Every day is Saturday school, but more eventful. I know it's going to be rougher, but I'm just tired of these lame-ass teachers who won't leave me alone about anything. You think the other teachers are just going to let you do whatever you want? If I just want to sleep in class, then by default, yes. A collection of the worst kids in school means distractions from me. I slept a lot in school, your way there. but I had swim practice first well, period, well, so they kind of just let it slide. It's for government. 
Why? Can I borrow that real quick? Sure. I feel like any I feel like anybody who has yeah. to do, do sports Why, before school just like window. deserves to sleep a oh. little in class. I don't know. All right, what the hell's the matter with you? Acting out, felt alone. Do I look like a therapist to you? Nicole, we've been trying to take a more understanding disciplinary approach lately. Tell me what's wrong, because you're disappointing us here. Wait, are you not going to write me up? It's the no child left behind act sort of thing. I don't want to escalate anything if we can resolve this through a dialogue. So, why did you feel the need to break a window? Yeah, and did it have to be my textbook? I need that for government. Nicole, <laughs> is there a hostility towards government class? Are you really not going to write me up? Nicole, answer the question. What's wrong with government? Uh, because our government hates women. Excuse me? The government hates women, dude. We can't get abortions or anything. Oh, I see. A political extremist, huh? Using violence to spread your message? If you want to call it that. The dictionary calls that terrorism, young lady. We've been cracking down on terrorism for the last seven years, if you haven't noticed. Are you connecting this to 9-11? Just sick. Straight to the principle. Come with me. Getting warmer. Wait, am I at Not 9-11, right dog. Join the club, Jekka. I could sit with you if you want. No, fuck off. You really don't waste any time, do you? Guess not. So I'm out of regular school now, right? He accused you of acts of terrorism, Nicole. That's a bigger punishment than remedial classes. What? How's throwing a book terrorism? You threw a book through a window for a political message. And did he not explain the message? Nicole, I'd rather not get into your diatribe on the Communist Manifesto. Communist? That's what Mr. Colby informed me of. I didn't even know what the fuck communism is. Must you play dumb with me? No, seriously, is it like for people who go on the internet too much? I have no clue. Well, if not for communism, why did Based. you break the window with a government textbook? Because the government hates women. That's what I told them. Dog, so I don't know if I should share this. I used to live in an apartment where in the living room there was like See, a communist shrine. It wasn't my shrine, but it was like the they had statues of Lenin and statues of Trotsky. So and the Soviet flag. Or... Women's rights are no reason to write any student up. You're very brave, Nicole. Now I'll be having a word with your gym teacher. Wait, but I broke a window. Isn't that delinquent behavior? You had your reasons, but this is an intricate conversation. Behavior. We'll need to have but what if I just did it for fun? Like, no terrorism or feminism or anything? Well, that would be different now, wouldn't it? Okay, then I made the feminism shit up. Just give me the regular trouble. You're not getting sent to remedial classes. No, seriously, I hate women. <sighs> nice try, Nicole. I'm not messing around. All women are good for is sucking dick and watching Desperate Housewives. Out of my office. Good news, Nicole. Very good day today. Did the mean lady at Marshall's transfer? Even better. I got a new job. Mom, you get eight alimony checks a month. Where the fuck did you get a job? You're going to be 18 soon, and when that happens, the well dries up just a bit. Also, it's a reason to get out of the house. Is daytime drinking at P.F. Chang's not getting out of the house? Will you be serious? I am. Well, I got a job in catering for that little kosher deli in Falls Church. Rossler's? Yeah, Rossler's Deli. I'll be prepping the sandwich trays. It's not the most prestigious, but I think there's value. Fun fact, Nicole's actress is British? Okay, cool. She's just really good at faking an American people. accent. That is I talent totally right there. Jewish people. Because, like, said damn. My third stepdad only got a good settlement because the courts won't let the Holocaust go. We all say brash things when we're upset. Let's not read into it. I won't feed into your negativity and let it ruin my moment of progress. Oh, what book is that from? Again, happy thoughts? So how was school today? I got in trouble and they transferred me to remedial classes. What? I know, took them long enough. No, what the fuck is the matter with you? I need remediation. My grades and behavior are apparently not cutting it. You're great. You go to school every day. Don't you get a C just by showing up? Mom, it's not the 70s anymore where you just show up and get a C. You actually have to do shit now. It sucks. Excuses, excuses. Oh, weren't you supposed to be happy or something? <sighs> I'm going to go up to my room and read up on how to fold the pastrami. You better find a way out of those remedial classes. You better find a real fucking job, bitch. Damn. Jekka was freaking out over nothing. These kids aren't that tough. She doesn't even have a reason to call her mom a bitch. She didn't even do anything. Just English? I thought all my classes would be Imagine there. Imagine Nicole with a British accent. So I still have to go to art class? If you need extra time, I can't do a British accent. If I could do a British accent, I would 
so you know, doing right, right now, but I can't. Like the rest of us? You could say that. Why are you here? There's some bullshit with Mr. Horvitz, that sheeny shit-faced fucking fairy. I wish the Holocaust happened. What was that last part? I said I wish the Holocaust happened. I think you need remedial history. Pretty sure the Holocaust did happen. Oh. Well, I wish Tyler is just more. always that surprising. Be here. So this is remedial classes. All right, time to start. I want to see you all. Emily's in here. Our scene I want to see you in a wheelchair, bitch. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Miss Ames. Are we finished? Oh, she didn't say shit. I see we have a new student. Welcome to Remedial English. My name is Miss Ames. What shall we call you? Uh, fiance. <laughs> okay, I'll just look it up during attendance. Can we listen to our iPods? Listen to what? Does it matter? If you're listening in class, it should serve to benefit the course in some way. Would Wheezy benefit the course? Yeah, and what about Kanye? Are these rappers? No, they're accountants. Come on, just <laughs> on your butt. While I'm sure this music is catchy for all of you, it serves little in terms of lyrical substance. Not appropriate for English. Then who can we listen to? How do you feel about the Beatles? You're such a fucking white mom, it's not even funny. I'm sorry, Dodge Caravan bitch. <laughs> Yeah, so we can't listen to rap or anything? I never said that. You just need to choose something with meaningful lyrical content. What do you think about Tupac? I think he's dead. Yeah, I think <laughs> he's dead. He could be hiding in Ecuador for all we know. His music? He's whatever. Yeah, he's okay, I guess. Okay? Socially conscious music is just okay. Guys, I have to tell you, I'm clairvoyant and I predicted uh, the murder of Tupac and Vicky Smalls coming back to the public eye right before it happened. Tupac on cassette or something? Irrelevant to my point, but I say all of that as a lead in to your next essay. Dude, why the fuck do we have to write? I just want to watch fight videos. An essay on the state of modern poetry. It needs to be four pages, double spaced, and feature a variety of citations of proper modern poetry. We don't read proper modern poetry. And this assignment will force you to do so. What about our music? Poetic merit seldom exists with these modern rappers. The misogyny alone is sickening. What misogyny? A variety of things I'd rather not repeat. Are you bad at pronouncing the slang? I might too, it's okay. Why is lunch at like 10.30? It's remedial lunch. They gotta keep us away from the other kids or we'll cause trouble or some bullshit. Tyler, I remember getting ISS I just heard. and walked into the cafeteria to get my lunch. Negative, huh? That shit was, that shit was low key fun. Last lunch about the energy in which we charge our language with. Why don't you come with me for a refresher? Hey, talking, talking's for gay people. What a theory. Hey, can I sit with you? Why? The kids at the other table keep throwing ketchup packets at me. You're not covered in ketchup, though. They don't know you have to open them first. Damn, we need a remedial bullying class, too. So, how do you like remedial English? I guess it's whatever. My mom was really pissed, though. Yeah? What about your dad? My dad killed himself. Wow, dramatic much? Oh, no, he killed himself last year. Fuck. You want to trade dads? What's wrong with your dad? Literally everything. He's so up his own ass all the time. I'll be happy about anything, and he'll go, what about your grades? Like, go away. He sounds like a weekend dad. He is a weekend dad. Every week I hope he dies so I don't have to see his ass on Saturday. That's a good dynamic. So do you guys actually do the lucky has here? entered the yeah, chat. Yeah, maybe you'll have to or they transfer you to a hood school. Dude, that's such bullshit. I wouldn't worry. They're not expecting you to be It's remedial, right? I guess, but like modern poetry? How do I even write half a page on modern poetry? Every paper here is just zoning out to the last minute. By the way, you want to pop seeds with me? Triple C's? No, bitch. Quadruple C's. How many you got? Like a ton. I stole a bunch from Rite Aid yesterday. They weren't behind the counter. Oh, they're yeah, robo tripping this time. The Does she have a camel crush shirt? Yep. Now, if only I had a car. So she's cool. I think she's one of my favorite characters. I think she actually might be my favorite character. What? Like, we're too young for it? Bitch, it's 1030. This way, quickly. Ugh, how do I reach these kids? How do I show them there's more out there? I hate her so much. They really picked the right teacher Excuse. for punishment. Oh my god, I can't even go back there. What, are you gonna skip? Do you wanna? But if we don't do the paper, don't they send us to some hood school or whatever? Dude, it's just one class. It's not like we won't finish the paper missing one class. Well, where do you wanna go? I don't know, out, around. I got a prescription to pick up. We could go do that. 
do that as in go there or do that as in abuse the prescription? No, you can't do that with Seroquel. It's not a fun high. Oh, so what's Seroquel for? It's like an antipsychotic. It's like an antipsychotic or it's an antipsychotic? I don't know. It just makes you sleepy. My mom forced me to get it after I slashed the tires. Cool. Yeah. So, you want to go with me? Why can't you just go yourself? I'm not going to skip alone. That's like a step above reading at lunch alone. Just ask some other psycho remedial kid. No, they're all shitty. I want to go with someone cool. Are you hitting on me? What? No, I got a boyfriend. But do you actually love him? Yeah. No. I, I love that my parents hate him. Close well, enough. I'm the vape as far away from the cab as possible. Go. I want to skip school with her. God, I really don't want to go back either. See? But I don't know. You already know what you're getting. I need her there. outfit. Some white bitch with wholesome bumper stickers. And a sun damaged poster telling you your outfit doesn't matter. Plus her whole stupid <laughs> I don't own a TV attitude. Yeah, so fuck that bitch. Fuck that petition writing Prius driving bitch. Okay, but if we don't go back to class, where should we hang out then? I don't know. I have a car, so pretty much anywhere we want. What car do you drive? 98 Saturn. You said that like a Saturn's badass or something. It's the two-door. Oh, shit. Yeah, but all the AC vents are chipped because we kept using them as bottle openers. That's hot. You're like Avril Lavigne if she never got famous. I know, right? All right, let's go. Cool. But first we gotta stop by my locker. Yeah, sure. What for? I need Adderall to stop at stop signs. <laughs> Me? Be right in front of my locker. Yo, hey, you guys hanging around too? God damn it. Is there a reason you're specifically here, or are you just some annoying free spirit? Well, if skipping is free spirited, doesn't that make you guys free spirited too? I oh, love the cat. When girls are free spirited, it's actually cute. Yeah, when men do it, it's like, fuck off, go die in a war. Exactly. So if you don't have any business here, go to Iraq and leave us alone. Actually, I kind of might have some business here. Business like what? Business like. I heard you buy Bud. Jesus Christ. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, but not everybody buys good shit. Okay, what do you got? How much? A quarter for 180. 180? Is it laced with gold? I know there's cheaper stuff out there, but this shit here, this shit here is 180. dollars I know. I'm thinking the exact go. same thing. Where you go? My boyfriend's an MS13. I have the pass. Okay, so, so what? 175? How about 120 and a buzz? I'm open to trades. What you got? You're an X, right? I could be, but why is your ex shiny and red? Is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, blend oh it the Advil, isn't it? Is red a Mardi Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? Take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. <gasps> is she going to kill Crispin? Damn, that wasn't even 20 minutes. Now I can finally open my locker. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, I got it. What the fuck? It was actually you were really good. something. It was actually Xanax. I didn't fuck it up. When I try that with Jekka, it takes her a second. And then they'd know something's up. Yeah, exactly. We're really good at fucking with people. I know. Just wait till we get to the mall. God, this isn't even that much weed. You want to roll some? No, marijuana is a baby drug. You can't even die smoking it. Okay, we'll just sell it. This might be the first time I think it was the cough medicine she had. Mom. That makes sense. Yeah. Do you see the homicidal slut shirt with a gun on it? The one in Spencer's? Yeah, that was awesome. What about those panties with Kurt Cobain's suicide note on them? Those are so hot. Fuck, we need money. We gotta sell this weed. Emily and Nicole, I didn't know you guys were friends. Why is Jeffrey here? You know his name. You don't? No, I just call him Nerd Shirt. Jeffrey, why aren't you at school? It's 3.30. School's been over. Wow. Time is like automatic in here. Oh, this Jeffrey, guy, Jeffrey. And everything, you we to love to hate him. Faded? Uh, are you gonna throw bleach on me again? Oh no, my god. What she means is like, are you looking to blaze right now? Blaze. Like Blaziken Excuse. the Pokemon? What? She could choose a Pokemon. What the fuck is Blaziken? Blaziken's a newer Pokemon. You're up to date on all the Pokemon? Isn't everybody? They're only up to 493 now. How much head do you get an hour? Can the two of you just speak English? Jeffrey, you want to get really high off some OG Kush? Wait, I know what that means. Are you gonna try to sell me drugs? Dude, shut the fuck up. Don't make us stab you with an eyeliner pencil. Nice try, but I think my time and money are spent better elsewhere. I don't. Let's just hope the both of you learn how to pay attention in health class. I'll see you never. Wait, he's kind of right because it is a carcinogen. So much. Carcinogen? How can you talk shit when you can't even tie your shoes? Carcinogen. Yeah. Did that seem Reincarnate? You 
Chris Imogen. No, Incarnate, that. yeah. He's never been that dismissive with a girl before. Chris Imogen. I literally told him to kill himself, and he'll still try to be friends. Oh, me too. He just likes female attention. But if he's turning ours down, that means... Sorry I'm late. Got a little caught up. <gasps> it's okay. What do you want to do next? Oh my god. He actually found a human female willing to listen to him. I'm not happy for him. After the way he just Yo, talked winning? to us, me neither. He Are winning, we yeah. About it? I think you already know. Yeah. By the way, did I mention the YouTube anime copyright controversy? You did actually. It's okay though. Oh, sorry. It's just a big deal. A lot of people have been talking about it. I don't mind. Do you want to hang out after school again tomorrow? Tomorrow? I guess so. That'd be good. They have a three-story like mall. A I guess it is California. Way. Yeah, I like that. We have a lot in common, and you're really nice. Well, a girlfriend. What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Um. Oh, look at this. Is this your next jump off, Jeffrey? Um, okay. What's going on? Oh, he didn't tell you? Then again, he didn't tell us either. Yeah, Jeffrey loves telling girls they're the only one. Damn. your number after you left with herpes. <gasps> Fuck the herpes. You got me pregnant, Jeffrey. What? 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 Is this true? You told me you're a virgin, Jeffrey. Oh, so he just never existed to you? But they're making all this mm -hmm. up. I don't understand. I Yo. am a virgin. Would a they virgin really got a cock block in. 93 Pokemon before going down on me? 493? <laughs> you told me that exact Pokemon number yesterday. Were you cheating on me? No, I don't even know them. Not only will he cheat on you, he's also really Christian. Yeah, he'll tell you he's pro-life while finishing. Oh, no. You're not believing them, are you? I... I need a minute. I need Damn, you to pay for my Karen. treatment. And you better pay for this baby, Jeffrey. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> go. What the... Karen, no. Come back. I feel... better. Yeah, I don't even feel like selling this quad anymore. We can just go back and steal all that stuff. Drop me off after, though. Yeah, okay. But yeah, that was productive. Why does Skittles taste better when they're stolen? Dopamine rush. I thought Seroquel stopped that. Nicole, where have you been all night? I don't know. Are you a cop now? And who's this? Should I go? Nah, you can hang out. We were at the mall, Mom. So I'm supposed to believe you were just at the mall all night? The fuck you mean all night? We were there for like, what, two, three hours? Yeah, two and a half. Like the sitcom. It's one in the morning. Damn, we were the mom, guy. though. I like her fit. What guy? Nobody. What guy, Nicole? Mom, don't even worry about it. You're gonna freak out. Tell me! Oh my god. Tell me or your friend has to go home! Ultimatum. You really want to know? Yes, what guy was this? The crackhead in front of the mall we sold weed to. Where did you even get... Ugh, you're so stupid. Oh, so I guess you hate homeless people too? No, dealing drugs in public, dealing drugs in general. Just how can you be so idiotic? Uh, it was actually kind of smart. Excuse me? Bitch, you better fix your fucking tone with me before I slash your tires. Damn. Wait, you sold to a crackhead, because what would a crackhead want with weed? Cops would never expect that shit. It's genius. Yeah, so why don't you shut the fuck up, Mom? How about I call the police? Your plan's just so bulletproof, you shouldn't worry. Oh, shit. Go the fuck ahead, bitch. They'll side with us anyway, because we're cute and you're old and used up. Uh, Nicole, I don't want you hanging around with her anymore. She can hang out with whoever the fuck she wants, Whore. So why don't God you go to damn. your room, pour your little wine, put on Grey's Anatomy, and shut the fuck up. Uh, I can't believe you! God. Bitch, stand your ground, the fuck? My mom. Why don't you? She'd probably cut me out of the will. Yeah, that's a... Uh, huh. But hanging out with you, this was easily, like, the best day of my life. Shutting your mom down was just the cherry on top. Yeah, you're cool. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, can I spend the night here? I guess. My mom's too busy crying to say no now. Awesome. Where's your bathroom? There's one downstairs. Cool. I'm just gonna flush my Seroquel. All of it? Yeah, I'm just done with it, period. Oh. Why? Just all the stuff we did today, how I ripped your mom to shreds. That's the real me. That is the real unfiltered me. Bitch, maybe you should take your Seroquel. I don't want my mom controlling me anymore, and yours shouldn't either. Yeah, I got you. That's cool. Besides, I want to take a Percocet to fall asleep, and Percs do not mix with Seroquel. How do I do this paper, dude? There's got to be a way to get out of doing most of this. How many times have I petitioned for palm juice in the lounge vending machine? Miss Ames, what is it? Me and Nicole were wondering if we could pair together for our essay. We were? Pair together? Yeah, like we make it an oral presentation for class. We'll you shouldn't mix perks with anything. That's true. 
Valid point. Of modern poetry? Isn't poetry all about the spoken word? At least she's being smart about it. I'll allow it. I don't know if but I would do that. Know, I'll have a higher level of scrutiny since it's two of you together. No, that's fine. Thanks. I just wonder if teacher's okay with switching the whole assignment. It's remedial. They just want to see it done. Something you two would like to share with the rest of the class? Like what? Actually, could we be excused to the restroom? Since when do you ask? Is this a new teacher? Well, yes, it is. She's the remedial class teacher. The re yeah, I think she's the teacher oh. for all of the remedial classes. Yeah. At least remedial well. English. Understandable. Take all the time you need. Well, that was spontaneous. What? How you switch the assignment? No, Investigate Avril Lavigne. I was just thinking oh, about yeah. that one. Means, like, Are you trying to talk down to me? What? No. It Shouldn't even take them unless you prescribe them because it's hard to get off them. The I guess that's real. Movie. The one with Dakota Isn't Blading. that why like oh, Future was rapping about Molly you. and Percocet? Yeah, I, love you too. I think it was Future. I could be wrong. Down to me, I'd smack the shit out of you. I'd make you bleed. Good to know. But anyway, I wanted to switch to a presentation because I've had a pretty big idea Fell in love with an emo no boy. boy. Until now, obviously. Exactly. You're down for anything, even if it costs I love a good life. MGK Bitch reference. Exactly. Miss Ames Sorry, is I had to join in. Had a button to your conversation. World, Sorry. For her. Oh, yeah, totally. What do you want to do? So I've had this plan for a while, actually, but, um... Sorry, it's really wild. Let me think how to word this. No, take your time. It doesn't smell that bad in here for once. Right? Yeah, uh... Fuck, I need a cigarette to think. There's always somebody in here. Oh, Ari, do you have a cigarette? I don't smoke. Of course. What's your problem? Do I look like I want to be asked? Calm down. You hear this bitch, Nicole? Yeah, she can't tell you what to do. Okay, what Damn. the fuck is this? Can you stoners act normal for once? Stoner? What is it, 1990? Show us your purity ring. I mean, that's why I started drinking lean and shit. I was like, whoa, this is cool. Yo, you're really cute, Ari. Shut up. I've had oxy, oh, er, I've had the coding before, but it was just because I was like freaking out one night. My mom was like, here. <laughs> Just like chill. Okay, I'm out of here. I knew that bitch was soft. She got a script for it whenever she had her. I think it's a gastric bypass surgery. Jekka has a ton. She's not in remedial though. You want to ditch and go to regular lunch? Not like we do anything in class anyway. Always the same table. What are you guys doing here? Hanging out. Do you have any cigarettes? Uh, are you guys skipping remedial? Are you at lunch alone? No, Kelly just went to get water. You guys are gonna go to school jail if they catch you. Well, they won't catch us, right? Because you're gonna keep your mouth shut, right? Nicole. No, no, Emily, she's cool. Oh, oh, cool. So, yeah. I love Jekka, though. Jekka is totally uh, my I best have friend. One in my locker. And yours is by the science rooms, right? Yeah. Sweet. Don't get up, I got it. Wait, you don't even know the combination. Don't worry, I'll get in there. Isn't she great? Nicole, what are you doing with that girl? Just yesterday, triple C is in the line of park. No, why are you hanging out with her? Oh, dude, don't get bitch over this. I'm allowed to make new friends, okay? No, I'm not jealous. She is fucking insane. Whenever I hear about Nicole, perks, I think about cow. quaaludes, and I think about the Wolf of Wall Street. Her ex-boyfriend's car on fire. Yeah, but that makes her fun. Besides, you're a hypocrite because you buy scripts off her all the time. Buying her Adderall isn't the same as hanging out with her. That bitch is going to get weirdly attached to you and snap as soon as you get tired of her. Well, I'm not tired of her now, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Were you guys just talking to Emily? Sort of. I hate her. She literally choked me in gym and didn't even get expelled. See? But hold on. But why'd she choke you? Because I said she wasn't as pretty as Fergie. Still sound okay to you? A girl can be confident. Confident? I was passed out on the floor for like two minutes. Bitch, that sounds like a you problem. Yeah. By the way, where's your mom been? Uh, she hasn't been here since you yelled at her. I think she's afraid of you. She better be. Oh, yeah? For real? I don't like how she talks to you, Nicole. You're actually, like, really cool and smart, and you should be I don't know if I such. believe that Nicole wears a North wow, Face backpack. Uh, what's wrong? Guys tell me that all the time, and I just say, I know. But now that a girl's saying it, I forgot how to take an actual compliment. We're friends. Don't worry about it. Of Are course she listens to MCR. Me? She's a, really? she's an emo yeah, baddie. I have no idea how to process this. Does your mom ever compliment you? No. Because she can't appreciate what she has. And seriously? Like, seriously, Nicole? If I ever see her talk like that to you again, I will rip her beating heart out and hand it to you on a silver platter. And you don't want to have sex with me? No. 
are you sure? No, come on, if you saw someone talking down to me, what would you do? Oh, uh, damn, killing my mom is a tough act to follow. Okay, like, if you saw my boyfriend cheating, what would you do? Kill that bitch. Oh my god, please. He's such an asshole now. Things are rocky with your gang member boyfriend? No way. Yeah, he fucked all his shit up on heroin. The sex isn't even good anymore. Yeah, competing with heroin, may as well kill yourself. Damn. Oh, that reminds me. The idea for the oral presentation. Oh god, that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, no, don't worry. I got all the supplies ready. It's just flashcards, right? Not exactly. So you know how I want to, like, screw up Miss Ames? Yeah, for sure. And we don't even really, like, have a plan after high school, right? Like, honestly, what are we gonna do? No, you're right. So I thought it'd be really badass if we show her the real state of modern poetry. Real suffering. Not some bumper sticker bullshit. Dude, I'm down for it. What do we do? Okay. We go to the front of class. I'm, like, so interested in this. And then we'll swallow this pill mixture I made and... A mixture of what? So I started saving all my Seroquel instead of flushing it, and then I mixed it with stuff my boyfriend gave me, and then I bought Percocet off Kyler. Well, uh, hold up. You're gonna OD in front of the class? <gasps> oh my We're god. Because death is fucking poetry. And when Miss Ames sees that, she's gonna shut her ass up about poetry for the rest of her life. Uh, are you sure about that? Are you backing out? Well, it's just a little... This is a two-person gang here, Nicole. Don't make me jump your ass out. No, no, I'm cool. Shut the fuck up! I said I'm cool with it. No, not you. I was hearing voices again. Okay, voices real. Where? Like, in my head. They always tell me I'm wrong about something. The psychiatrists mm -hmm. might disagree, but have you considered listening to the voices <sighs> in your head? Whatever. Look, are you down or what? Totally. Anything you want. Awesome. You're awesome. I love you, Nicole. Like, I really fucking love you. If you told me to kill someone, I'd do it. I wouldn't tell the cops shit. What if I told you to not kill someone? Like, yourself? <laughs> Nicole, I know you're worried, but we're gonna do it together. It's gonna be okay. We got a big day tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. We sure do. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? You're not gonna kiss me goodnight? Oh my god. Mwah. Thanks. I love you. Yeah. Are you gonna say it back? Okay, now I do want to kill myself. And that is why modern poetry is written. Done. You certainly are. Is that a threat? Hey, Miss Ames. Sorry we're late. Not actually, though. Late again. What's the excuse this time? I tried ironing my shirt with a hair straightener, and it caught on fire. Witness. Putting out a tiny fire wouldn't make you ten minutes late, would it? Well, no. It was a really cute shirt, so I cried for, like, nine minutes. I Real. find that hard to believe. No, it was actually such a good shirt. Yeah, it had a Jack the Ripper crime scene photo and said, all work is sex work under it. I meant the crime. Wait, that's kind of real. Of the class. This oral presentation better be good. It will be. Uh, yeah. Well, go ahead when you're ready. Uh, no warm up or anything. Fire shirt. No, nope, like literally for anymore. real. Does public speaking make you nervous, Nicole? No, there's just a few things higher on that list. Okay, let's just start. Go on. So. Me and Nicole have been looking at modern poetry and made one main conclusion. Yeah, a real big one. When you really get down to it, any living poet is a whole ass poser. <laughs> and why's that? Poetry is about the spoken word, about storytelling, right? But movies have stories too. Yeah, last I checked. And movies suck when you see the ending coming a mile away. Why should it be different with anything I else? I like the skeleton yeah, memes of like dad t shirt that are meant to sound threatening. That are just the fairest shit ever. Their work, and if their life I don't get it. Stupid, how but I don't have to. to and I think it's valid. We can't. The poetry is linked to the poet. Good. Most people's lives are boring. Lots of waiting around, lots of doing nothing. But when does it suddenly get interesting? When do people care about you more than any other point in your life? When you die? Exactly. Especially when it's unexpected. It's fine. The and ones who know know. The others just don't. When it's voluntary. I respect like that. Suicide. And so I noticed a link. Basically, all the best writers kill themselves. Hunter S. Thompson, Ernest Hemingway, Hemingway, whatever. It's pretty obvious to me. Modern poetry sucks now. It's ruined. <gasps> ruined by what? Therapy, self-help books, psych meds. It's like you're not allowed to be sad anymore. Yeah, what about the pursuit of unhappiness? Happy people aren't interested. Wait, because she's kind of real for that. They'll tell you about their cousin's science fair project or some other shit you don't care about. Language. So get rid of the good poets? Get rid of the people who keep you guessing? 
You're left with no good modern poetry. That's why Kanye is off his meds, you guys. So all poets and storytellers need to be suicidal? It's not about what they need to be, it's what they are. Their life is their work. Then what's the thesis? The what? The central message of your essay? All great writers have suicidal thoughts. Because you can't have a good story knowing there's going to be a happy ending. That's very nice, girls. C+. Plus. That's it. Decent length, but a little inaccurate and rather melodramatic. Oh, then how many Sorry. poems have you published? <laughs> Excuse me? You graded us low because we implied you're a shitty writer. Just say it. That's enough, Emily. Sorry your world's too cozy for anyone to care about what you make. This is entirely baseless. Have a seat. You're soft, bitch. Face it. Yeah, honestly. Truly deep thoughts come at a much older age than 17. Whatever. You probably call Bob Dylan deep. <laughs> What's really deep is voting, volunteering in your community. Have you ever thought of anyone other than yourself? You did not say that. Lip service, ho. You're the type of bitch to fuck one black dude, then call yourself light-skinned. <laughs> okay, out of bounds. I think you need to be written up. Go ahead. I'm laughing because I know I'm not supposed to laugh. You're a teenager. Crazy, you for real. deeper than any other adult in the for world? Real. Deeper than you, bitch. We're about that shit. And how's that? Watch us. You ready, Nicole? I don't get that choice. Super humbling when the trashiest girl you know, probably coked out of her mind, says the most thoughtful thing you've heard in years. I thought I was like deep and misunderstood and made the text and background all black on MySpace so it's like a blacked out profile. But no, I never planned a suicide pact. I never cut anywhere other than my wrists. She took her shirt off in front of me, cuts all over her body. Had one of those angel wing shoulder blade tattoos. In the feathers, it said, Proud mistake. I can't compete with that. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, you could skateboard, smoke cloves, get your tongue pierced. There's always going to be a hotter bitch than you. And you just got to accept that. I'm jealous of a girl who just killed herself. That's how fucked up I am. You might be wondering how I'm even telling you all this, even though we both followed through with it. Well, I cut her little pill concoction with crushed up Flintstone vitamins. So I passed out. I had a seizure, but it was just diluted enough to where I didn't die. I can't say the same for Emily, though. God damn. Okay, so I'm not sad about it, but at least I have the serotonin to not kill myself. What the fuck, you guys? New message. Now or never. Best ending ever. I would have to agree. That was a very fun storyline as well. You don't see this because they make us turn our phones off, but I just want to write this for me. I'm glad we are dying together. It just feels right, and I can't think of anyone I would rather do it with. I may as well write this too. I'm super fucking gay for you. Sorry I lied in the hallway and didn't tell you before we shared a bed and changed in front of each other. I don't know if that's rape or whatever. That's not funny, but like it's... It's the phrasing of it. I don't know if that's rape or whatever. But if it is, sorry, lol. I can die fulfilled. Because dying together with another bitch is a bigger commitment than some soft-ass bitch getting married to Jack, the construction worker, or some other boring white guy who can't pronounce Beanie, Beanie Sigil. But yeah, if you pass out first, I'm going to try to fall over on you so it looks like we're cuddling. Aww. That was low-key romantic. I agree. This is literally so sweet. I wish someone would write me a message like this, but like not actually. But like not really. I have to get some water and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. Did you guys miss me? I know I was gone for a really long time. New game. I want to see if we can get kind of the same storyline, but like not suicide as the ending. Because I figure there is going to be something that goes along that storyline, but isn't that it? Ending. Can we get the psych ward ending? 
Is there a psych ward ending? I honestly don't know. Oh my gosh, finally, I couldn't bear to wait any longer. Thank you. Good to know there's someone out there who cares about me. Instead of what? I don't know, like oxy or morphine or something. They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Oh I'm gonna skip through this because we've seen it before. Oh, fine. Where are we even going? Um, let's hang out at home. That was really interesting last time. You wanna watch MythBusters? This is like a really. You guys want to watch MythBusters? Yo, let's get the crack ending. I um, I think I got the crack ending already. Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at State Back Outhouse. That doesn't change the fact we're stuck here without gas money. I got a jail ending before. That was kind of the crack storyline. So you don't want to watch MythBusters? We literally just left school to avoid men who go. This is true. Where the fuck would I watch a show about them? I heard every other episode they accidentally show you a new way to make crystal meth. Did they ever do one on cigarettes causing cancer? If cigarettes were in Star Wars, then maybe. Can I smoke in here? You can. The one where you saw drugs, yeah, that was the first mom, ending that we got. Okay, well, you hate your mom, and your brother, and anyone else you mentioned to me, so just let me smoke in here. Holy shit, you can watch it on, on my YouTube like channel, Lilo No Stitches underscore. My mom has a bunch of old prescriptions in her medicine cabinet. Yeah, the VOD should be up. It's part one. Pills. You'd be like the guy in Scarface if you ran a nursing home. This might be a stupid question, but what even is Scarface? It's like a drug dealer movie. I don't know. The ESL kids won't stop wearing shirts of it. I think they did a Mythbusters on Scarface. That sounds so awesome for a guy who wears cargo shorts. What are we doing, Nicole? And don't say sobriety. Zane's in my cargo shorts. Zane's in my minivan. Excuse, let's smoke cigarettes again. Why doors so bad anyway? Because it makes the carpet smell like cigarettes. It smells good. Cigarettes are like air fresheners. It also puts cool like a smoke. weird like it's grime on the wall. Yeah. There's not cigarette uh, smoke on my wall, but like three, she has cancer. Like some um, bitch, I'm just living over here. Emphysema? Never heard of her. Yeah, I've so seen like videos yes. of people like cleaning smoke smoke smokers' smoke. homes' what walls, happened? and it's and like just like a thick film like of like yellow. In the last few weeks, the fucking counselor is always out there trying to talk to me. And you're in trouble. So imagine oh, what it's doing to like, like your lungs. Talk, on my outfit. You're too pretty to smoke. It just ruins my whole morning now. I'm being a hypocrite. Uh, I don't actively about. smoke, no but I have are, smoked before. Just use the dress code to hit on you. Literally every time. That looks a little low cut for school. Looks right down the titties. Yeah, when they catch you alone, they savor the fuck out of that good Samaritan stare. Like, how are you this horny at your job? Go look at porn on your work computer and get fired for it later. And he's fully aware of the leverage game, too. Exactly. I'm the cool counselor. You can smoke. But as soon as I tell the principal he's flirting with me, he'll immediately rap. Wow, so it's either don't smoke or smoke and get your titties stared at. Easily the second one. I literally can't function without this now. I still haven't found a drug where I function. It's like you've turned 12 and you can't have anything perfect anymore. What the hell are you guys doing in here? Oh shit, uh, doing what? I don't know what you're talking about. You see all the I realized the Mom other day smoke in the house. Mom also said that like you're a kid up until you're 13, so that's like 12 years. Like, that's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Sorry, I didn't know the basement was your video Basically game 13 office. years of like being a kid. And then whenever you're a teenager, that's like the shortest time in your life. Every night, okay? I got other places to be and shit. Like, because that's only like seven years. I thought you liked it. I'm not defensive, and I don't even sleep there. So I think that was a pretty fair trade-off that we as humans in this society made. there's a girl here. No. It's the cigarette. Is that so? Believe it or not, dude. all I did was come up here, start Believe it or not, dude. Believe it or not, dog. bad it smells in here now. Yeah, I never want to eat But my brain can't decide if I want to say dude or dog. Cigarettes are actually kind of healthy. Newport's my new personal trainer. Do whatever the fuck you want, because I'm snitching hard, bro. So not the way to win me over. Shh, come on. Can't you just go back in the basement and play with your toys? Video games are not toys. That's it. I'm calling well, it. Okay, okay, dog, wait. Dog, dog, doge, coin to the moon, bros. Let's socially sacrifice uh, Jekka. Let me get the smoke odor spray in my room. You guys just chat while I'm gone. <laughs> But yeah, uh, it's an office. In the basement? It's a basement office. Right. So, so you hang out a lot? I guess. Doesn't everybody? Oh, well, you know, some people get busy with, with school and stuff. Are you in school? Take it a hiatus, kind of. It's kind of weird and cultural master, because teens are defined by the names design. of numbers. Where was that? But if you don't Surprise. speak English, you have different radar. names for those same uh, numbers. Really? So those You're aren't your teen years. Yeah, all, that, all that stuff's kind of boring. That's like kind of crazy. Not right now. 
What do they call it then? Is being a teenager just like an English speaking person thing? To the bankruptcy. Twenty-seven, but it's just a number, like whatever. I like numbers. You like numbers? Yeah, yeah. Numbers are cool. Fucking math and shit. Math, yeah. What's forty-eight divided by four? Oh shit. Um. Uh, Naming my kid Ropsy, right. so he gets yeah, anxiety cool, yeah. every time that he goes yeah, to the bank. Because when you learn how to solve that, I wasn't even alive. Tabloids are such a guilty pleasure. Zach Efron gay. My condolences to the hoes. <laughs> what the fuck is this? A bedroom. You really left me with your brother to go up here and read a magazine? I didn't think you'd stay down there that long. Cause I thought you were coming back with a smoke spray? Yeah, sorry. Sometimes I just disassociate. Do you even know what that means? No, but I heard a girl say it once. It sounded like a good excuse. You have no idea how awkward that was. I was hearing music down there. I thought you were having fun. No, he just put on a bunch of techno music. And then he got mad after I called it techno. Break beat. I was about to break the fucking stereo before I came up here. Okay, Damn. so you talked to him and played some shitty music. What's the big deal? Your brother was hitting on me, Nicole. Seriously? He was asking me to come over even when you weren't here. What's that sound like to you? Sounds like he wants to score. And you went up in your little room and let it happen. I can never come here again. It's too awkward now. That's a little dramatic. He's in the basement most of the time anyway. But what if he comes up? It's just weird now. So you're just never coming back? Unless you kill your brother? No. But then mm. I gotta go to jail. Don't even stress over it. I don't really think I want to hang out anymore anyway. Are you serious? You get hit on by gross weird guys all the time. Yeah, but after that, they're blocked out of my memory. If I have one who's always at my friend's house, I can't do that anymore. It's like a Jewish That's girl so marrying a neo-Nazi. She'll never not think about the Holocaust. I don't know if you could hear that. That's myself. being so dramatic right now. It's like you don't even fucking care. Okay, bye, Nicole. I'm done. Wait, were you actually like... Ugh, God damn it. Damn. in the morning so far so good jessica aren't you a sight for sore eyes Enjoy i forgot her name i forgot her name was jessica i guess you guess is everything okay no no everything's okay good and if it ever isn't you know i'm always open to talk about it totally yeah thanks by the way you're looking beautiful today as always i hope your vice here won't tamper with that got it covered don't worry so, what have you been up to over the weekend? Um, I downloaded the Carter 3 off LimeWire. Oh, I see. Is that a movie? I'm not familiar with the first two Carters. It's an album. Right. Are yes, you like I wish I got the reference. I'm just lame. Well, hopefully they could play some of it at homecoming this year, if it's school appropriate. Yeah, if I'm even going. Now, you wouldn't be having trouble finding a date, would you? Excuse me? It's just that smoking habit of yours might leave a smell that could put the boys off. Really don't think it puts any guy off. Well, in any event... I don't know how to describe this, but I like the way the that they off, wrote... Always welcome to use the counselor is kind of like a round character. Because on one hand, he cares about the kids, but on one hand, he cares about the kids. And I just think that's very interesting to have, like, two sides of the same coin. The Carter 3 is Lil Wayne's best album. I don't know a whole lot of Lil Wayne. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm the naysayer. How are you doing? I just need to remind you of the school's dress code once again. What about it? I'm seeing your shirt alone has a few infractions. You get a good look. Bitch. Hey, what's that? I'm for? good, good to hear. An anime book in front of me, you fucking Lego collector. I already said this. It's called manga. I'm gonna call your mom and tell her sorry she'll never have grandkids. What? No, Damn. don't kick me down there. I don't need to, because the more Mario trivia you know, the less women want to fuck you. And you know a whole lot of Mario trivia, don't you, Jeffrey? M more so the canon of the Mushroom Kingdom. You are gonna fuck so many kids in your 30s. How do Jesus you Christ! Make me a kid like her, huh? That's like asking how does heroin make you a drug addict? I was and laughing and then I wasn't laughing. It won't be so fun when the shoe's on the other foot. Are you threatening me? 
Are you threatening me in Skechers? Well, um, I've had that exact same Punisher shirt in ninth grade. Dude, everyone around here and also who thinks that they're like so cool has a Punisher sticker on their car. Jeffrey is very troubling and downright heinous. Yeah, you forgot everything they said in the bullying assembly. Yeah, those were. Confronted by a staff member and not even an ounce of remorse, this is how Virginia Tech happened, Nicole. Wait, do you mean he's doing the shooting? Because you should probably talk to him then. Go to class, Jeffrey. I'll deal with this troubled student myself. Thanks. You've always had the back of us students. This is mandatory counseling, Nicole. You will be in my office every day for the rest of the year until you show improvement. Fucking every day? For how long? You'll be excused from your classes for one hour. This used to be my break time, but now I'll be seeing you in my office 9 a.m. sharp starting tomorrow. Is that clear? Dude, that's so early. Is that clear? How are you? I'm good. I'm having a lot of fun. Both of you. This stream has been a lot of fun. How is that rest of the year punishment? Um, what did Jeffrey do? Nothing. Oh, wait, then why did you... You smoke by yourself again, right? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. It's kind of sad. Do you want to hang out later? I can hang out now. Let's get the fuck out of here. I really can't miss class today. Are you going somewhere anyway? Let's go to art class again. For this I hate how those back the blue types made the Punisher an alt right thing. Too. Like, they don't know he hated the, the cops. Like, not to sound like a nerd, but the comics clearly pencil. express that. No, you're on the right side. You're on the correct side. I'm gonna draw a newspaper. And that's it's valid. And I recognize newspaper. that. And I see you. I see you, emo boy. Yeah, isn't that cheaper than printer paper? It's not cheaper. It's just specialized. Art classes are here to remind you you're special. So, are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? Your minds are special. Is he calling us special ed? I guess we are if we took this class. And with the medium of newsprint and charcoal Mr. Pencils, Lord? We'll be drawing Can't wait to meet Mrs. Any Cannon. characters you'd like. These characters could tell a story, show how you feel, portray a social cause. Anything you feel is worth the time to draw. My characters murder bitches. Be mindful that anything we do in this class must be school appropriate. Can my characters be the gym teacher trying to molest us? Nicole? What? It's in school. I think you're all smart enough to know what pushes the envelope. It's your first assignment. Just play it safe. Any other questions? Are we allowed to just draw people hanging out? Of course. Though it might not be the strongest test of your creativity. Think, why are they hanging out? What purpose brought them all together to hang out? Yeah, bitches and shit. If there are no further questions, I'll hand you your papers and we can begin. Let's actually draw this, this time. Suck ass. Yeah. I'm sensing some negativity over here, girls. It's negative to think your class is a waste of time? That's not negative, it's just accurate. Yeah, like you're gonna fail us if we're bad at drawing. I'll fail you if you're bad at giving effort. So there's no tangible achievement in this class. That's fucking stupid. Watch the language. Watch the office. The like in one comic, he even beat up some cops using a symbol. Maybe I'm like a Punisher stan. So yeah, why do we have to draw and paint? It's our last year of high school. You're never too old for creativity. We don't know what we're doing. We're just finger painting with brushes. Well, if you put the effort in, finger painting with you'll brushes. Learn what you're doing. Or maybe I'll have to fail you for the year. No, I'll do it. It's just dumb as shit. That toast class better be an art school. Yes, and Nicole, can I trust you'll participate? Can I trust the housing market? Your friend's doing it. Why not join her? Because she wants to go to college and shit. I just want to hang out and get fucked up. Respectable. So you won't be participating? Nope. Then maybe you could serve as my teaching assistant for the year. And what's that entail? Cleaning brushes, organizing supplies, and posting to our MySpace pages. Why Nicole's like, I'm not gonna argue with Jekka. Whatever you say, Miss Beautiful Brown Eyes. What if one of you kids went viral and spun a career out of it? Have you heard of Owl Town? You mean Owl City? Either way, in the arts, we embrace the future. Another cat has joined the chat. Is that future? 
can hang out and get fucked up in college like frat parties are fun. excitement I hear? Fine, I'll do your little baby drawing, okay? To the best of your ability? Oh yeah, you'll see. Your hands covered in that weird charcoal stuff. Yeah, I wash my hands for I've never been to a frat party. Damn, art sucks. I'm so glad I'm not in it. But like drawing or whatever. Now I probably never will go to a frat party. Kids who actually wanted to be there are so annoying too. I like taking art class. Mr. Lori's the best. See? No, I see. See what? I gotta work on my lab. I'll see you later, Nicole. What about me? God, I drew for an hour, and then in two days I'll have to draw for another hour. What's so bad about drawing? Jeffrey, just do the lab. Well, no, what's wrong with it? Or do you not like Mr. Lori? This one uh, is Hades, so and he lets me hold well, him like this, and he says hi. He, he says hi to everyone. This year in his home life. How would you know? He's a teacher. They don't tell us anything. I have lunch in his classroom because no one sits with me in the cafeteria. We talk about a bunch of stuff, like his house foreclosing and his wife cheating on him and- Wait, wait, wait. Cheated on him? With who? It was, um... My university I didn't have fraternities, but movies always know, made them look like groups of no, stupid people and I'm literally going to jail anyway. The only, like, party movie that I can, like, recall yeah. is, like, Project X. I'm a trans man that passes well. If I was female presenting, I would be low-key scared of frat parties. That's valid. Very valid. I also just generally... Oh, so sorry for that. He has no decency. Um... When you're ugly, all you also, I'm just like down. scared yeah, of parties cheater. because of COVID, and also one time I oh, totally. took a drag off of somebody's cigarette, and then I got strep. What though? And that wasn't fun. Who invited you? Me, motherfucker. You guys want to go to the fair with me this weekend? The fair? Yeah, with like games and shit. Is it 1920? Why would I go to the fair? Yeah, we have internet and Xanax. Fuck the fair. What's so bad about old stuff? 1920's a cool year. You would like a year where rape was legal. Rape was not legal in 1920. In practice, it was. God, shut up. There's cool shit to do there. They don't even card you. Honestly, it's your loss. Hey, whoa, what's going on? Chill with the yelling. Leave me alone, bro. Don't be a bitch. Don't make me fight you. Dude, what? Don't be lame right now. Why are you still here? Me? Is there no, a single no, guy in this you. game who's not like lame as fuck? He's kind of going at you. We're not going to fuck either is of it, you. Is it bad if I say Kyle? Um, <laughs> they literally do that every week. Speaking of every week, are you still watching Real Housewives Atlanta? Nah, I got tired of it. Excuse. Kyle's my favorite because he's a problematic king. Like, celebrities gay. We got him this time. It's annoying. For the gay channel, it's kind of homophobic. Yeah, I only watch at midnight when they're selling Girls Gone Wild and Enzite. Do you think they pay well? Who, Bravo? No, Girls Gone Wild. There's my artist. Hello, girls. Oh, God. Let's keep the conversations to inside the classroom. Oh, I won't be long. I, I just wanted cow. to compliment your effort today, Nicole. At first apprehensive, but then sinking your teeth into the assignment more than anyone. Good showing. Thanks, Mr. Laurie. I look forward to the final prize. Beautiful girls make beautiful pictures. Right, girls? But it's a mirror photo. I'll see you on Thursday, Nicole. What a fucking weirdo. What's his problem? I think he's a tiny bit into you. Cool, another child predator. You've literally said that about every guy teacher here. Don't well, tell me he's a predator too. You still I dads, wouldn't you know. I know at least the counselor right? and yeah. Coach Sexual Colby are. Father figure is like top five yeah, Fred is icky. Right after murder. Oh, and if they hook up with you, there's no angry dad to kick their ass over it. Exactly. So you could be prettier, but I'm way more desirable. I've had my fair share of guy teachers flirt with me. I just don't jump to all of them wanting sex. No, not all of them. Just like 90%. That high? Yeah, I'm pretty sure like 90% of men have the urge to sexually murder teenage girls. Anyone God who damn. Knows that is probably like some ugly white guy who gets mad at video games. Is that a thing? The main message of this game is that all teachers are sex offenders. That's true. First week of school and your friends are all Back in 09. No Except for Mr. White from the first game. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. He was Mr. White alright. This is a new year and I want you to start it off right. As if I did last year wrong? Oh, let me count the ways. Far too many for a number. Yeah, right. Name one incident. 
The time you dated your gym teacher? I needed money, that doesn't count. Then how about when you caused a boy to get locked in the psych ward? It's not my fault I'm beautiful, Mom. I didn't know it was common for beautiful girls to ask for a gallon of their partner's blood. If they're beautiful <gasps> and hot, absolutely. Okay, then explain the time you set a Palmia flag on fire in the cafeteria. It was funny. Honestly, answer that for all of them. It's excuse after excuse. You're driving me crazy with your bullshit, Nicole! I just got Home. Can we do this later? Another excuse! Get your shit together or we won't have this problem! What shit? I'm fine! Stop lying! Quit shoplifting! Don't talk back to your teachers and fix your fucking drug problem! What drug problem? What are you talking about? Stay out of my medicine cabinet, Nicole. Mom, you are so fucking paranoid right now! Emma, Just get a lockbox. You wouldn't box. mind if I looked in your backpack, would you? I would mind, but you wouldn't find shit anyway. Because you did it all at school, right? God the damn. Salem Ho trials? You have <laughs> two options, Nicole. Live by the rules of society or live on the goddamn street. Right now, your schoolwork is the only thing keeping you here. You wouldn't kick me out. I can do whatever I want. Except find a good husband, right? Shut your fucking mouth! The milk window's closing, Mom. Oh, I want to hit you so bad right now. Where's my Valium? Top shelf on the left. Why did I say we when they talk about football teams? Hold on. What are you drawing? Can I see? No, no, not yet. Surprise. I don't know what you're drawing for this class, but it better be really good if you care this much. My cat Separated is just like effort. digging his nails into my leg. Based on effort. Oh, I just finished my drawing. What'd you draw? Bitches getting killed. Women dying is cool. You should move when you graduate. Unfortunately, the deadline for your character drawings has come. I will now walk around to provide feedback and collect your artwork. Jekka? Oh, here. Care to explain the piece to me? It's me and Ryan Sheckler at the Warp Tour. Aww. Ryan Sheckler? Yep, yeah, bitch, he's sexy. That's an unblockable character in Tony Hawk. He's not <laughs> real. You are really fucking stupid. Watch the language, Nicole. Fuck, sorry. I mean, shit. Yeah, sorry, the Blink 182 I mean, reference whatever. real. You know, I'm very interested to see yours. Are you sure? Do you think you Travis Barker knows that he's in here? With the class. If you say so. This is. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a picture of you killing yourself while your wife blows the UPS man. <laughs> what? How? Where'd you get this information? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Was it FedEx? <laughs> This isn't funny, Nicole. I think it's pretty funny. Insubordination, inappropriate imagery, and sexual harassment of faculty. I'll let Principal Lynn handle you. I'm sorry, sexual harassment? That's precisely what this is. There's nothing sexy about you. It's just regular <laughs> harassment. Fuck. This bitch better have some Valium left. Guess not. I told you you were on thin ice and what'd you go and do? What the fuck are you talking about? You really think they'd refer you to the board for expulsion without giving me a phone call? The fuck you mean expelled? I got suspended, thank you. Suspended indefinitely. Yeah, indefinitely. Meaning not definite, like not for sure. Meaning until they know what to do with you. That's how much trouble you're in. Fucking whatever. It's not a big deal, mom. They always threaten this. And what if they follow through? I don't know, it's not even your problem, just fuck off! So I take it you're not my problem either? Definitely not. Fine. As of tonight, you no longer live here. What? You heard me. Pack your shit, get out of my house. Go drink some wine, you're such a bitch when you're sober. Get the fuck out of my house! Are you serious right now? Like, come on. Should I call the police? You know what? Do it! God damn it. I really hope this cat doesn't oh, stick God, on the keyboard. Doesn't okay, stuck on the keyboard. Doesn't on. step on the keyboard. Do you still have in your basement? Yeah, it's covered in dried Mr. Piv, but yeah. I guess that's fine. Can I sleep here? Tonight? No, bitch. Tomorrow. Are you <sighs> really getting expelled over that drawing? That's bullshit. Just tell your mom that. I'm done telling my mom anything. She can rot in a tanning bed for all I care. Well, you're gonna rot in the street if you don't work it out with her. Dude, you have a house. Just let me stay with you. If it was my house, you could stay all you want, but it's my parents' house. Mom will get pissed. That'll probably hit on you. It'll be weird. Okay, so you and your dad against her. That's perfect. Let me stay. No, Nicole. Like, I wish I could help, but I don't know. Well, can you at least give me all the fruit roll-ups in your kitchen? <sighs> I'll be right back. Well, I know that we had those, like, or salt. organic fruit roll-ups. Those kind of suck. Those are the worst benches ever. It's like I don't want homeless customers. 
Damn, Nicole, you're here early. Yeah, you too. What for? Just buying something. Buying what? Are you a cop? Bitch, do I look like a cop? Yeah, just waiting for Kyler. He's supposed to sell me his oxy. He's got a lot, right? Totally. These dumbass white guys break their legs and turn into pharmacies. I'd buy more from him, but then I'd have to give him my phone. Kind of real. No, you don't. MySpace. Make a ghost account. A ghost account? Or they call it a burner or a puppet. Basically an account separate from you, where you do illegal shit. Oh, I think I already have one of those. What do you use it for? Stalking people who blocked me. Kind of a waste. You have the right people, you can buy anything on there. Drugs, guns, ass, whatever. Drugs, guns, and ass. And the cops aren't tracking that? No, they're old ass cops. They can't figure that shit out. Cool. Yeah, this is good to hear, because my mom kicked me out yesterday. I should buy something to forget about this shit. Are you couch surfing or straight up homeless? Homeless straight up. I slept on a bench last night. Damn. Well, go make some money on MySpace. But I don't have any drugs or guns to sell. You know what I meant. Ugh. I don't know if I'm ready to be a MySpace escort. Have you never thought about it before? No, I think about it every week. I just never thought I'd have this crossroad in high school. Shit happens, dude. I wouldn't think any less of you. Yeah, but would I think less of myself? Yo, what's up? I, I got the shit. Where the fuck were you? Places? I got shit to do. I'm not some drug addict like you. They're not for me. They're for my boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? I don't even want to sell this to you anymore. Are you kidding <sighs> me? I got a hundred for the bottle right here. 110. You said 100 on MySpace, asshole. Yeah, but you didn't say you had a boyfriend. Fuck me. Okay, 110, here. Thanks. A and let me know when you're single. Let me know when you're not. What? Have fun, Nicole. I'll try. Gotta get home before Mind of Mencia comes on. Kyler, can I have a pill? I don't have a boyfriend. Panhandling pills? What are you, homeless? Uh, no. Oh, good. Yeah, you can have one, because I fucking hate the homeless. Okay. God damn. Seriously, like a lot of politicians just say that, but I actually want homeless people exterminated off the planet. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, that's an opinion. <laughs> like the only way they could contribute to our society is by jumping in a meat grinder. So we have Jesus to Christ. Give me the fucking pill. Whoa, fine. Are you like an addict? You could say that. Sweet, yeah. Drug addict girls are hot because they're really easy to control. What Jesus the fuck? <laughs> uh, I think Mind of Mencia is starting soon. Oh, you're right. I, I gotta go. Okay, I gotta figure something out. <laughs> um, let's start our own car wash. The hard Worst thing about that exchange is that he I watches know, Mind of Mencia. Okay. I wouldn't know what that is. Uh, I'm too young. Oh wait, it's not awkward. Uh, what's awkward? Usually when I see someone from school in public, I try to avoid them. But I just realized I'm not in school anymore. Did you drop out? No, I'm getting expelled. For what? Some bullshit. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. Well, at school, stuff's been going good for me. Did you know where the sponges are? I'm trying to start a car wash. Near the chemical supplies, but I'm still class president. Could you not interrupt me? I'm not in class anymore. You're not my president. Well, I'm still a person, so you should respect me. Dude, I'm out of high school. You're just a memory now. There's zero consequences for anything I say to you. Are you even- You're a whore. Excuse me? Yeah. I have a boyfriend and a purity ring. For real? How do I get one? A little late for you. No, it's never too late to have your boyfriend fuck every girl but you. I don't need to take this. I'm on the honor roll, something you'll never do. Bitch, why don't you shut the fuck up before I slit your throat and watch the honor roll out? Are you threatening me? No, I'm hitting on you. Flash me a titty, bitch. Go get slut! And there is no one she can report me to. Awesome. Hand wash for only eight bucks. Great deal. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing much. You interested? What are you selling? Car washes, eight bucks. With one of those peanut sponges? Yeah, the big yellow one, hand washed. Get a car wash to support the homeless. With that sponge, fuck the homeless. You drive a Corolla. What are you worried about? Maybe I should flirt more. You washing cars? What does it look... I mean... Yeah, and I'd really like to wash a car like yours. I bet it's fast. Yeah, 300 horsepower. Not to brag. Of course not. It is what it is, right? Yeah, it's the GT, so leather seats and everything. Leather is so sexy. You want to take me for a ride after I get this cleaned? A ride where? I don't know. Your place, maybe? I don't think my husband would like that. Goddamn. Since when the fuck do gay people drive Mustangs? I gotta find a new spot. 
Teachers are charitable, right? Damn, you went 60 and a 10. Oh my god. That fucking happened at my school. Oh, hey, sweetie, this fucking dumbass from the same car. swim team that I was sure on that fucking nearly hit me with his car driving like well. hella fast sure in the school parking lot. I'm like, bitch. No kids around today. She says. One, it's just a write -off. How is that a write-off? Because you write them off the student list. Wow, so you want a car wash? I might have some time. How much? Eight bucks. Get that shirt wet and I'll give you ten. I'm in high school, Mr. Colby. You're right, you're right. Fifteen, then. Not what I meant. Fifteen what? Years in prison at this rate. Nicole, what do you think you're doing here? She's a student. She could be here. Yeah, I know, right? She got expelled, Mr. Colby. What? Is this true? I didn't get expelled. I'm suspended indefinitely while they consider expulsion. Honey, you can't be here. You gotta go. Why? Or else what? Or I gotta report you for an unsanctioned car wash. Well... I'll report you for trying to buy a wet t-shirt car wash. Uh, well, well, maybe we could just forget about all this. Oh, what? I didn't see anything. You were literally walking up as he said it. No, actually, as I recall, you were offering him a topless car wash. Right, Mr. Colby? Oh, uh, 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 yeah. Are you actually fucking kidding me? Who's the whore now, Nicole? You Jesus bitches are fucked up. God, MySpace sucks on the phone. How do I make a new account? Oh shit, what's up? Hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere. It just tastes good. Are you still homeless? Basically. I'm trying to use the Starbucks Wi-Fi right now. Did you try what I told you about? Jeez. No, I'm making the account for it now, though. I wish that MySpace was still a thing. I mean, something that just lets people know you're down, honestly. Although I have made some badass cards How before. Dirty little rental. Little slutty. All right, what about... Pierced Princess? Hmm, I like the innuendo, super cute, but really emo. I got shit to be emo about, don't I? Yeah, true. But that's probably already taken, so put X's in the name. Okay, XX Pierced Princess XX. It's available. There you go. Damn, you went from, like, hesitant to making awesome screen names. What happened over the week? Like, I just came to grips with the fact that when you're pretty, retail and escorting make you feel equally disgusting. Yeah, either way, you deal with hideous people against your will. So, who do I add? How do I even know they're around here? There's one guy who's pretty much connected with everybody in the area. You add one, then the others start hitting you up. What's his name? Uh, Cream Pie Casanova 420. Yeah, I see him here. Added. So, when he accepts, just PM him and he'll shut you out. Cool, but how does it work? I don't have a car. When you're selling favors, they usually come to you. And if you let them pay you in drugs, you get way more for your time. Have you done this before? I'm on there, but I never sold favors. My friends in Laurel have, though. Damn, there's some white trash in Laurel, too. Would they get paid in drugs? Yeah, but only because they had people to sell to. Anyway, I gotta go. Good luck with the Wi-Fi. God, this is sketchy. I guess if one of them kills me, it'll make my mom... I'm bad. really, like, so interested to find out where this takes her. You know, for two weeks of being homeless, you don't really look that homeless. What do you think, everybody homeless wears a barrel with suspenders? No, but you're still so, like, clean and put together. The homeless dudes on the bus are covered in dried spit in Burlington Coat Factory. A lot of the guys let me crash, use their shower, everything. Guys that you're meeting on... On MySpace, yeah. I never thought I'd ask this not as an insult, but... How's being a whore going? Escort for that? Whatever means money for sex? On MySpace, we don't call it sex. We call it favors. So, what are the guys like? Are they really weird? Well, they're buying favors so obviously, but the actual doing it isn't even the worst part. It's after. What is it awkward? Uh, so after they finish, depending on the guy, you get this wide range of emotions from wanting to save you to wanting to kill you. What's in the middle? Wanting you to get out before their wife comes home. They're married? What if they get you pregnant, Nicole? There's upper favors and lower favors. I don't do lower favors. Those are for ugly girls. Shit. What do they pay if you're not giving it all up? There's not really a number, because I usually trade for drugs. Guys into this are like pharmacies. That better be some awesome shit if you're not getting paid. Oh, it is. I probably did a thousand dollars in free pills this week. You're not free if you're doing- God damn. Let's not get messy. But you're only doing this because you're homeless. For real? 
What I'm saying is, being a regular hoe for actual cash would be better than where you are right now. Then you could get your own place, maybe. No shit. I ask for drugs because I can't do this sober. I can't beg sober. I can't starve sober. And I definitely can't fuck a stranger sober. Yeah, but why not go to a women's shelter or something? You can't have drugs in a women's shelter, which is the last place you want to be sober in. I guess it's just a month ago I couldn't imagine you doing this. I could never do this. It's so gross. Well, a month ago I wasn't homeless. But when your mom kicks you out and your friend won't let you stay with her, that kind of forces you to do shit you wouldn't This is like really do. fucking dark. Are you trying to guilt me right now? I don't need to try. I gave you fruit roll-ups. What do you want from me? <laughs> much easier than phone my space. Let's see. I can only pay in cash if that's okay. Shit. I guess I have enough on me to get me through it. Also, please keep this to yourself. I have a high profile career and don't want this getting around. High profile means rich. The symbolism the rich of the email being like subject and money. body. But I can't hold up a camera phone in his face for the proof. Nicole, you're not allowed to use MySpace on the library computers. Karen, right? Do you know how to set up a timed photo on the sidekick? The phone? Don't change the subject. I'm the librarian assistant. You're gonna get me in trouble. Why can't we use MySpace? It's not an educational website. I learned how to break into a car on MySpace. How is that not educational? Rules are rules, Nicole. You need to log off now. Log off? I gotta reply to this. Dude, can you just act like a hot bitch for once? But I'm not a hot bitch. No, I... Your, um, your glasses are cute. Just cute, though. Did I say cute? I meant hot. Like, sex for free hot. I don't know. I feel kind of nerdy wearing them, but contacts hurt my eyes. Nerdy? I'm wearing no, contacts like right now. Really Transition contacts. You could, like, be a Bitch. playboy with a quadratic formula tramp stamp. Tramp stamp? Like the back tattoo? Yeah, dudes could study it while hitting you doggy and shit. I'm allergic to dogs. Whatever. Uh, Karen, do you see what I'm saying? You're a hot bitch. Act like one. What are hot bitches supposed to act like? Hot bitches aren't worried about losing their depressing unpaid internship at the local library. Well, I guess you can use the computer for five more minutes, but then you really gotta log off. Close enough. So how do I do a timed photo? Uh, okay. So you go to the camera section, do new capture, then go over to flash and exposure settings. Is she about to get rich? Well, should be good. Where is this guy? And I wonder how rich he's gonna be. He could be like a basketball player, or Steve Jobs, or the guy who invented Adderall. Oh, I think that's him. It's so dark, you probably can't even recognize me. Hey, you weren't looking for favors, were you? Guilty as charged, pierced princess. <gasps> what the fuck? You're not rich, you're Mr. Lori! Oh, God! You work at a school and you're on that part of my space? Uh, Nicole, please don't! Oh, no! That's why your wife left you! You kept paying for ass on the internet! Emily, come out here! Damn, I was hoping you were the guy from Transformers. <laughs> Why was this? We thought you were gonna be a celebrity, so Nicole had me hide with her camera phone. Oh, two witnesses! Why not just use the self-timer? I couldn't figure it out. How long have you <laughs> been doing this? Girls, please! I'm just very anxious! I popped three Zans and I'm still freaking out! How'd you think I feel? No, come on, <laughs> let's work something out here. Like what? No, fuck that! This dude got me expelled! He ruined my life! I'm sorry, Nicole, just... Please don't tell anyone about this. You better pay up then, starting at a thousand each. But on a teacher's salary and my house payment. Your house was foreclosed. What do you got to worry about? Bitch, God damn. Yeah, ask your wife for that UPS. <laughs> All right, fine. Fine. Uh, I'll go to the ATM if you promise to just not tell anyone. Oh, for sure. Yeah, trust me. Do you see him trying to bite my necklace? You know damn well we told after we got the money. I told Jekka. Jekka showed the photo to Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn informed the school board, and the school board deemed his accusation of me unreliable because he pays for sex. My mom got a call from the principal saying I'm back in school, so I'm not homeless anymore either. 
everything just kind of worked out. Aside from all the trauma I got from selling my body, but whatever. Jeffer was worried he'd get revenge on me because I snitched. You know, cardinal street rule. But honestly, street rules don't really exist when you're actually living on the street. Everyone's gonna have an opinion on what I did to survive. But let's see you homeless with no one to crash with. Those upper favors are gonna start sounding real convenient. Then again, you're probably not as pretty as me, so you'd only get paid for lower favors. Bend over, bitch. Damn. That was a pretty, like, even ending. Like, cost to... Whatever ratio? Cost to benefit ratio? No message. Are you still selling? Hey, my buddy Craig gave me your number. Are you still offering the whipped cream hand jobs or is it Stan's whipped cream now? Not sure if that was a limited time only thing, like the pizza at four for all. God, that was such a convenient option because I hated when me and my golf buddies would order half onions and then the entire pizza tasted like onions. Anyway, I will be a very gentle and respectful client. By the way, is it extra if I want you to pretend to be my daughter who died last year like we talk about how you're doing in social studies or something while you pound my hog to Jenny McCarthy show reruns playing in the background. Brownie points if you can cry on command. God damn. Well, it's been fun, you guys, but that is it for the, for the Lilo No Stitches stream. I gotta go to sleep. I'm now signing off yours truly, Lilo.